Hello. Uh, in this last video on the reactions of ethers, I'm going to I am going to talk about other ether cleavage reactions, uh, particularly ones that uh, avoid the use of strong concentrated acids. Uh, these reactions are only going to work on some types of, of ethers, uh, some more more than others. Uh, the first reaction that I'm going to describe is one that works pretty well for methyl ethers. Uh, oops. If I have phenyl methyl ether or methoxy benzene, um, methoxy benzene or the methyl ether or methoxy benzene, and actually methyl ethers on on a wide range of compounds can be cleaved using BBr3 uh, as a Lewis acid catalyst instead of a Bronsted acid catalyst. This reaction actually works pretty similar to, to the reaction with um, I'm sorry to the react to the reaction with uh, hydrobromic acid and other uh, strong acids. I'm sorry, other Bronsted acids, in that first we have a nucleophilic attack on the boron. Let's see. Boron has three bromines on it. Way. Boron is negatively charged. Oxygen is positively charged. I want to see my methyl group on the carbon label there. Um, and then one of the borons can, or one of the bromines can dissociate from the boron to form uh, a bromide anion, which is a nucleophile, and can react with the methyl group. an SN2 type reaction, an SN2 mechanism. This other thing comes off as a leaving group. And after, a, you know, and, and so we have OB, Br2. And in fact, the boron that's hanging out here can react additional times. Bromomethane is the other product. And then after aqueous workup, the, the boron thing gets hydrolyzed back to back to the phenol. Uh, this actually works uh, and, and behaves pretty well on other kinds of ethers, leaving behind a more substituted alcohol and cleaving off methyl and ethyl low substituted uh, alkyl groups. The BBR3 is pretty large, so it can't get into to, to highly substituted ethers. Um, and because this reaction is done in non and can be done in aprotic situations, it really favors only the SN2 type cleavage of the methyl and, and, and less substituted ethers. The second reaction I want to share with you only works for benzyl ethers. And the benzyl ether is a thing that looks like this. And the benzyl ether group, I'm going to put in a box here. Benzyl is a is an aromatic ring in CH2. Benzyl ethers can be cleaved by uh, hydrogenolysis, which is really honestly just uh, uh, an application of catalytic hydrogenation. <clears throat> but you get out of this uh, reduction of the carbon oxygen bond to form toluene and to form the alcohol. And other types of carbon, hydro or carbon oxygen bonds are ignored here and only Ether, the only side of the ethers that have this benzyl group and things that look like it uh, are affected. And so 
lots of other ethers can will survive a reaction like this. This concludes my reactions. Uh, this concludes my video on the reactions of, of on other reactions of ethers and my whole sequence of videos on the synthesis and reactions of ethers. Thanks for watching.